Hi everybody, this is Greg Tong with Dark Connect, and uh, now we're going to show you how to set up doubles round robin inside the Dark Connect Digital Steel system. All right, so uh, we've logged into our bracket program here, and we're going to from here open up our event roster tool. Uh, so from here, what we're going to do is going to pick the doubles round robin event that we're going to work with. So uh, from the event list, we'll pick doubles round robin event. Uh, now, uh, setting up team events um, in, for round robin is, is different from setting up singles events. With singles events, we use the uh, master list to pick uh, from players here in the event roster tool. But uh, we can't make teams, doubles teams, pairs teams inside here. So we have to do that in the bracket program. So if you pick a doubles uh, event from the event list, um, the system knows this and it's going to tell you that uh, you don't need to create new teams for this event by opening the bracket program. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to open up the bracket program here. And uh, from here, we go to this special tool for creating teams for our doubles event. So um, now uh, we have access to uh, everyone that's in that master list uh, for our tournament. And what we have to do is just start typing in people's names and uh, you'll see them pop up here. So anyone that's uh, checked in or you've added to the uh, event roster tool master list is going to show up here as you start to find them. So again, we put it typed in A and D. That finds anybody named Anderson or matches those three letters in the master list. So we'll pick Gary Anderson. And let's say we want to pair him with David Fadham. So then we pick David Fadham. Here, let me get rid of this icon here so you can see us build the teams. So we added one player, we added a second player, and then we add the team. Okay, so now when they appear in the red boxes, that means they are now a team. Now we'll add another team. We'll uh, add Sean Baker, and then we'll add um, David Maher. And uh, when we add the players together again, we add them as a team. Next, uh, you know, we'll add... Bo Greaves and Leighton Bennett as a team. And uh, next we'll add Chris Lim and Paul Lim, father and son, as a team. And you'll see it's counting up how many teams we've added. We've added three teams so far. Um, let's add a couple more teams. So um, let's see here. Just forgetting what names we have in here. So we've got Mikuru Suzuki and Lisa Ashton. And lastly, uh, we'll add one more team. We'll add uh, Martin Schindler and uh, Greg Tong. Okay, so we've added six teams here. And when we're done adding our teams, we can take a look here and make sure this is uh, you know what we want. And when we're uh, sure we got what we need, we click Done Adding Teams. And this is going to take us directly to the group play um, creation wizard. Um, this is the uh, having us confirm the event we're on, the doubles round robin, and we'll click next. Uh, we tell it how many um, how many uh, groups we want. We have six entrants. We can make one group or two groups. Uh, so let's make two groups of three entrants each. We'll click next here. You can seed these or not. We're going to click no seeds, and then we'll populate the groups. And you'll see now here everyone's in here as a team. And uh, pretty much the process is now exactly the same as doing a uh, singles round robin. So um, if you want to see more about the basics of setting that up, watch our other video, which uh, shows um, group play basics. Um, but here you'll see you can just uh, use the generate groups randomly, fill in the groups like that. And then everything else, like I said, is pretty much the same. Um, you'll see over here on the right, you'll... Um, it's pretty much the same. You'll see uh, the groups here, and uh, we click OK, and then uh, you'll uh, confirm this, and then go on to run the round robin as well, play the matches out in the tablet, record the results, and then same as a singles round robin, you can opt to uh, pick the winners of groups to enter the next phase of a competition. All right, that's it uh, pretty much for setting up a doubles um, in uh, Digital Steel for Dark Connect. Uh, and works for um, uh, doubles group play. You can also do um, blind draw uh, group play now on Dark Connect. Of course, you would uh, in, uh, export the players like you would a singles event, and then when you got to uh, where you're creating the groups, it would do the pairs automatically for you. So check that out as well um, if you have that in your practice event. Um, let us know if you have any questions, and uh, good luck with it. And uh, this is Greg Tong with Dark Connect. Hope to see you soon.